Hey everyone. So today I want to talk about Kajabi and Squarespace. I am actually going to cancel my Kajabi uh, subscription that I've had for the last couple of months because I was taking a deep dive into it. I really wanted to understand it and understand whether it would be a better platform for the next evolution of my business. So, as you can tell, I just said I'm going to cancel the subscription. So I actually decided to stay with Squarespace. And this is a very like spontaneous video, actually, because I thought it might be interesting to do a little bit of a deep dive and show you a little bit of a comparison with how both systems work and also why I decided to stay with Squarespace. So, yeah, this is very spontaneous. I didn't script any of this and I'm doing it because I have to cancel my subscription today because otherwise it would renew again tomorrow. And uh, so let us dive into this. Um, the reason why I looked at Kajabi, I have looked at Kajabi before actually, because I take a few courses from people that use Kajabi and, and I like it, you know, I like their, some of their course templates and they have a lot of functionality. They're also an all-in-one platform, you know, with a website and email marketing and courses, of course, and they have a lot of functionality that Squarespace doesn't actually have. Things like built-in quizzes, built-in affiliate programs, they have quite sophisticated email marketing with a lot of automations. And I really wanted to understand what is the fuss all about. And also, is this is something, is this something that would be helpful for my business as I'm moving towards teaching more calm business courses? Um, so let me have a, you know, let me show you a little bit what Kajabi looks like in the back end. So, you know, here is the admin area. We have our main dashboard and menu here on the left. So the first thing that really confused me and that took me a while to really understand, and that is probably one of the, one of the biggest reasons why I also decided to stay with Squarespace. So Kajabi does have a website builder, you know, with website pages and it also has landing pages. I think actually that's how they probably started out. I'm not quite sure, uh, but that would make sense. Uh, and landing pages are in fact separate from your website. Landing pages typically, you know, I never actually designed like a whole uh, landing page. I um, just did a few test pages and, you know, they typically don't have a header or a footer. Uh, we all know these landing pages, right? You know, they are pages that when we see an ad, for instance, and we click through, we end up on a landing pages, a page. You know, it's like click fun funnels use those and they're like all these um, systems, you know, that use landing pages. And it's funny because I never actually used have <laughs> used landing pages ever. And sometimes when I was teaching Squarespace, people would ask me, well, how do I hide the header and footer because I want to create a landing page? So I would show them how to do that because you can, you know, you just need a very little bit of CSS code and then you can hide the header and footer in Squarespace. But I never quite understood why you would want to do that because you go to someone's website and don't you want to offer them also the header navigation and, you know, all the things that make a um a website you know a website basically and to learn more about people and so when i land on a landing page you know so if i do click through to someone's landing page and i don't know this person and i look at their sales page and but I want to know more about them. I want to know, well, who are you? And, you know, I, I want to know more beyond what's on your sales page. Now, the whole point of a landing page is to draw people in and to get them to do something. Usually, you know, add an email address, you know, so uh, for list building purposes, 
or sell something, you know, so they wanted to buy something there and then. But I would never do that if I don't know this person. And now I don't have an easy way to get to their website. So what I often do is I strip away the slug of the URL, you know, that is usually behind the website name. And that is how I then can get to the main website. And that is basically, you know, if we go back in Kajabi, so I'm taking Kajabi as an example here because that's how they work. You know, I'm not quite sure how other course platforms deal with this. I think Podia is another one that has a website builder. So I'm not quite sure how they handle that. Uh, but here, you know, so here we have the website and then, you know, we have a page on the website and then our main website has the navigation here at the top and that's fine. Um, but then, you know, if people then click on a landing page, even from the main website, then they end up, you know, on a page that, um, okay, I've lost this page already now on a page that doesn't have a header. So how do I now get back? Yeah. I'm like, okay. I can click the bed button, but to me, that just feels incredibly messy. Uh, I, I just really don't <laughs> like that. This is uh, how it is structured. Um, I understand why they do this because that's another thing I learned. Kajabi is all about the landing pages. They don't actually really care that much about the website. Uh, if you are in the Kajabi forum, for instance, people will always tell you, like when you're starting out, don't worry about the website because sometimes people ask, well, I want to build my website and I'm struggling with this or that. And then a lot of people will tell you, don't worry about that. All you need is your landing pages, create your landing page, create your funnel, get people onto your list and then sell them something. Uh, it's a very different kind of philosophy. Now, I'm someone who has grown her business very organically because I have a website. And um, so so that is that one aspect of it. You know, I mean, I just like having a website. You know, I like that people land anywhere on my website. They always have the navigation at the top. They always have, you know, a footer and we have actually like, you know, like a nice footer. I have some styling options here. The Kajabi footer is extremely basic. This is all you get is this one line. Now, this is one template that I used in Kajabi. There might be other templates that have more of a footer. You know, I didn't try any other templates, you know, but I think the one that I used here is the one that is one that's very popular in Kajabi. Um, and yeah, but I, I really like, you know, having, having this in my footer and, um, make it also a bit more visual. Now, again, you can argue, you know, this is simple and that's fine because all we're focused on is list building and selling. <laughs> and I think landing pages, you know, a lot of times, how do people actually find them? A lot of times it is through ads, for instance. Now I don't use ads. I've never used ads. You know, I built a six figure business and have been a six figure business consistently for the last, I don't know, like five or six years. And I have never used ads. And so, you know, for my kind of organic marketing and organic growth, I definitely want to have a website, you know, and I like things simple too. You know, I don't like things to be cluttered or anything like that. Uh, but I can achieve that with Squarespace. So that was like a really big learning curve um, with uh, Kajabi to understand that the website is actually separate from the landing pages, which also has another implication. Um, so when you your website uses a template and every now and then the templates have updates. Oh my gosh, this reminded me of the good old WordPress days. I mean, I used WordPress like donkeys years ago <laughs> and uh, I always hated those updates. And lo and behold, you know, here is an example of this is the message I got. You can preview the update and then you have to say here, I understand that any changes, you know, I've made using the code editor or any custom code that, yet, that you've added will not be applied. So if you actually have custom code, you might lose your changes. Also, when I previewed my, pay, my uh, website, all my fonts were different. All my fonts changed. 
And I thought, wow, am I going to have to change my fonts all back again now? So it really didn't feel good. Now I did, I mean, you know, it's, it was just a test website, so it really didn't matter that much. I did the update and actually everything was fine. But I also went into the forum, uh, the Kajabi uh, Facebook group, and I asked about this, you know, before I made the update. And there were actually a few people in there who did the same update and they lost everything. So a couple of them actually lost everything, like their pages and all that. I'm like, oh my gosh, you know, that's kind of awful, you know, and some lost also some of their styling. Now you can roll it back, you know, that's fine. You can roll it back, but who wants to deal with this? <laughs> you know, I mean, I haven't had to deal with that since 2008, <laughs> since I uh, moved to Squarespace from WordPress, because I was dealing with this kind of stuff in WordPress all the time. And uh, so that was already something where I thought, okay, no way. And not just that, your landing page also has, each landing page has its own template. So if that template has an update, you also have to update that landing page too. You know, same thing as, as with the main website. But with the landing pages, you have to actually update each page individually. Um, because each page can also use a different template. Uh, that's how like insulated these landing pages are and how separate they are from the ecosystem of, of your website or of your platform. And I have to say, when I realized that, yeah, I thought, oh my gosh, I, I really don't know if I want to go back to that. Because with Squarespace, I never, ever, ever <laughs> have to worry about software updates. I mean, it's just not a thing with Squarespace. The other thing, of course, is design. So if we look at Kajabi, um, let, me, let me go into a page from here. If we look at a page in Kajabi and, you know, again, this kind of reminded me a little bit of WordPress, although I haven't used WordPress in a long time, so I'm not quite sure even what it's like. But you basically have, you know, all your sections here on the left of your page, you know, okay, that that's okay. Um, and then you can click into each section to, uh, to edit it, you know, so this is basically my, you know, my hello section. And then that section is also made up of, you know, building blocks. Uh, so the principle is kind of similar. Uh, to other website builders, of course, you know, but for instance, to change my text here, I have to click into it. And then all I get is on the left, this little text block, you know, and it also formats it like this. So whatever, you know, uh, heading or, or font style I'm using, uh, it will use live in here. Also, um, I found like there was an occasion where I actually wanted to make the text white. Um, so I highlighted this and I can change the color. But then it was actually white on here, like white on white. Oh my gosh. You know, I mean, this to me is just really, you know, if you have like a lot of text, literally you have to like do it in here. Now you can um, expand the text. You can go full screen. Fine. You know, but ugh, <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, this is just really kind of rather painful. Uh, le let me actually um, go into a page here. Uh, that is using some of the newer stuff as well that Squarespace has. And if I go into edit here, I add it right on the page. So here is my text block. I can just go in there and just edit it straight away. You know, I can go in here and edit it straight away. And then I can do things like with this word, for instance, I can put a highlight on this word. You know, um, or I can make uh, this, you know, okay, you can do that in, in Kajabi as well. You can make just one word a different color, you know, but I just have more styling options. But I see immediately what it looks like. I mean, that's one of the beauties of Squarespace. And I do not have to kind of fuff around with a, you know, keep going back and forth. And with like, a, you know, if I want to move any sections, I have to move them here. And, um, you know, whereas in, sorry, I have too many tabs open, but, you know, whereas in Squarespace, you know, we all know, I mean, I can just move things up and down here, you know, using the, um, using the section mover and, um, 
and I can, you know, duplicate sections here easily. We can favorite sections. You know, this is one thing I like so much in Squarespace, you know. So if we want to add a section, I can just insert it where I want to insert it. I go to my saved sections and that's from anywhere on my website, you know. So if I want to use a similar format, you know, then I can just save it and then I just grab it from here, you know. So for instance, here, if I wanted to have this pre-designed, um, you know, list of modules. Yeah, that's how easy it is. In Kajabi, I would have to go to that other page. I would have to rebuild it for every section where I use this kind of style. I have to rebuild it from scratch. Whereas here, I can just save it and reuse it. I mean, how amazing is that? <laughs> and, and then, of course, we have the things like the... Um, you know, like the, let me just uh, exit on here so that I don't get the distraction of all our editing lines. You know, we have things like we can style the background a little bit. We can apply just a little bit of animation. We have the borders and, you know, we can create these waves. And I don't know, it just kind of flows nice and easy. You know, Kajabi, I can make it work, but it's kind of boxy. It's kind of, you know, I mean, and there are people who have Kajabi templates and they are more creative, absolutely. But it requires like either a lot of custom code or I don't know. You just have to, it, it just takes a long time to build a good looking page in Kajabi. And, you know, now I, I have a fairly, you know, I like a very clean style, you know, so I don't actually want too many, too many fussy things. Certainly not if I have to use code for them. Um, so, you know, I could have made this work. You know, I think I could have made this work. Um, and for a time there, I thought, sorry, uh, for a time there, I thought I was going to make it work because there were other things that I really liked to about Kajabi. So let me show you one of the things that I did like. Uh, the blog. So Kajabi has a blog with a sidebar. Now the sidebar doesn't look like this. I used CSS to style this. Um, but what I really like about their blog is it has a, uh, I can add a header to the blog. Uh, they have also a um, built in blog footer section where you can have a sign up form. And under each post, you know, you can also add more sections as well. So that I really like, you know, that, that to me was because I do blog and I thought, oh, wow, we have a sidebar <laughs> because Squarespace 7.1 doesn't have a sidebar. I really don't know why Squarespace did away with the sidebar, you know, I mean, at least give us the option, right? I know they, you know, they have ideas of how style and design works, but honestly, if you're a blogger, a sidebar is a good thing. Anyway, so that was one of the reasons why I got quite excited about Kajabi, because I really liked the way that I could make this look and the way that I could use this sidebar here. But then I realized Kajabi doesn't have comments on blogs. Um, they just don't. <laughs> you can use Discus, um, which I used way back when and I really didn't like and I don't want to use again. So, okay. Again, Kajabi doesn't really care about the website and even like blogging, um, you know, you could also argue that these days, you know, we don't comment so much on blogs anymore. That is certainly true. People comment more when you share your posts on social media and, you know, places like that. So not the end of the world. But also there's no navigation. There's no, you know, so if I look at my Squarespace blog, so... What I did here is, you know, I can't have a header, you know, which I would really like because I really like how that looks. But OK, I, I can live without that. Um, I actually used the sidebar plugin, you know, thank you, Omari from SQSB Themes. Um, and I, you know, styled it kind of similarly. And so that's nice. So I do like that as well. And, you know, so this looks actually kind of similar. What I really like is in Squarespace, I can also add like sections like this here quite easily, you know, that, um, you know, with, with an image and with a button, you know, uh, I didn't find a way to add a button in Kajabi. Also in Kajabi, when you add photos in um, into a blog post, um, there's no way to add an old text, for instance, you know, which we need for SEO. 
uh, things like that. And then here I also use, uh, I use another plugin actually to have a footer. I have a blog page footer. So every blog post has this footer. And because uh, that plugin is very flexible, I can style this also, you know, I can actually put a few things in here, not just a sign up form. Um, so I can change this out uh, quite easily if I want to, you know, highlight something like a new course that I'm selling or things like that. Um, and then, you know, um, we have a comment section, you know, which is nice. And we also have a navigation to other blog posts. Um, so again, I mean, could we live without comments? Probably. Um, I still do get comments on some of my blog posts, you know, but I probably get more engagement on social media when I share stuff. So I thought, okay, I can still make the Squarespace blog work because it also has other things like summary blocks. Um, you know, we can actually use summary blocks, you know, so I do that, for instance, on my homepage um, where, I, where it just pulls the most recent blog posts and you can scroll through that, you know, so you can very easily at a glance see what someone is, um, you know, has posted. You can do that with any uh, collection on Squarespace. In Kajabi, you can add blog posts um, in a section, but you have to actually number them, the, the posts, like it doesn't dynamically pull the most recent posts. You have to actually put, add a number, like what number of blog posts do I want to add here? Very clunky, very clunky. I just found the whole like styling and, and you know, the, the way also styling here, the, the, the background colors and uh, even typography and all that, there, there is no global styling really. You can set a, a few global colors, um, you know, so if we go back to where the, um, where the design is for the website, you know, if we go to site details, then there is a, a place here where I can set a color palette. And then when I am designing a page, then I can um, go, you know, anywhere on this page. And then for instance, background, you know, then I can click on the color here and then here I have my, my palette. So that's, that's good, you know, so we have that. But, you know, if you compare that to Squarespace, where we have global colors, you know, we have actually a global color palette and we have themes, you know, so you can use your themes for your sections. And if you ever want to make a change, you can just change your theme and it will automatically change it wherever you use it on your website. You don't actually have to go back and, and change it all individually per section, per page, whatever, you know, and also fonts. We have a lot more font choices in Squarespace. I mean, Kajabi font choices are extremely limited. So I think you get the idea. Um, again, a lot of Kajabi people don't care about the website. They don't really care about design and, um, you know, what it looks like and, and, um, I mean, not to the degree that, that we do in Squarespace and that's perfectly fine. You know, I'm, I'm not by the way, recording this because I, I am, you know, I, because I'm down on one of the systems, you know, they're both really, really good platforms. They're just very different and people have different needs, you know, and you just have to decide for yourself what's important to you. So I think for me, and, and I realized that design will always be important, you know, because I'm, I mean, I am a designer and I, I don't know, my website is my online home and I wanted to be able to, you know, just to reflect me and who I am. And I found that really hard in Kajabi. Now let us look uh, at two more things. I want to talk about two more things. Um, thank you for bearing with me. I want to look at the courses uh, and also at email marketing. So the courses was one of the reasons why I looked at Kajabi because I do like, uh, there's this one template that they have. It has this nice sidebar here and um, it's a very clean look. You know, so at the top here, you have your, um, your video. Now I don't like that if your screen is a little bit larger or your monitor, then you have this weird black background. I'm not a fan of that. 
And then you basically have a column here and you can add photos and text and dividers and they have comments. You know, that is actually nice. I like that you can have comments here. Um, so, um, so yeah, uh, that, that is a, you know, a clean and simple design. You know, you can also, you know, complete your lesson and then, uh, you know, it will check it off here. You can also, um, star lessons, you know, so that you can favorite them. Basically, this is a really nice template. And this was one of the main reasons uh, why I looked at Kajabi, because I think this makes for, you know, a really nice student experience. But I wanted to wait uh, also until Squarespace launched their new courses feature, because I knew it was coming and I wanted to check that out. And I have to say, I like it a lot. Um, now, let me just go back to um, where that is. Again, you know, I, I just want to show you. Now, let me just find a... Sorry, I'm trying to find a place. Okay, where I am in my website. Where I'm logged in. So, uh, in Squarespace, I have my dashboard here and I have my website. And this is basically where everything lives. So, I have my name, main navigation here at the top. Kajabi, you can have lots of different navigations, you know, so for your landing pages, you can have different navigations for each landing page. And I found that way too confusing. I, I really don't need that. You know, I just want one navigation. I want it clean and simple. You know, I don't want to confuse people because then they go somewhere and then they want to go back or they want to go and look at this again. But now the navigation has changed. And oh my gosh, where am I now? You know, and that happened to me a few times when I was looking at Kajabi websites. I got completely lost and it's not good. It's not a good feeling. So we just have the one main navigation here and I like that a lot. Um, and then we have our member sites here, um, which is great, you know, and we also have um, courses now. Um, so when I go to that, you know, it, it just all lives in my website with all my pages, you know, with everything. It's really nicely and uh, organized, very clean and, and easy to find, easy to use. It's very intuitive. And um, so basically, you know, we go in here and then here we manage all our course content. And then, you know, our customers see this. So I actually like this, you know, this is like the, the welcome. And um, and then you can style it. You have all the styling options that you have available in Squarespace. You know, you can add sections and all this. And then they have this really nice um, overview, overview here, you know, lesson overview. And um, it's, uh, yeah, it's just very clean, very nice. And then, you know, we when we go into a lesson, you just click on that and Again, you know, I, I really like how I can style this here. You know, I, I have my course, uh, you know, title here. I have my lesson um, name. Uh, I can navigate to the next lesson here. And then I can just, you know, in this case, I just added a section just for the video. And I can add multiple sections for videos, you know, whereas on Kajabi, uh, where are we? Oh my gosh, I've lost my course. In Kajabi, you know, I can only have like the one big video at the top. I think you can add smaller videos in here as well. But I I like, you know, I could actually have a few sections with different background colors, for instance, and more than one video. And they would all kind of look the same, you know, same format, which is nice. I love that I can do things like this, you know, download your worksheet here. And then I can just create my lesson and it's just really nice and clean looking. And for navigation, when I'm in a lesson on the right here, you can also have it on the left if you want. I just click on that and I have a slide out navigation. Uh, I like that a lot. And then here I can also check um, if I have done any of the lessons. Uh, I could also do that by, you know, clicking on the, um, let's see here, this lesson has already been marked off. You know, I can just say complete and continue. And then, you know, on the side here, I will be able to see easily which lessons I have already done. I love that. And then if I go back to the to the home page of the course, you know, I can also see here which lessons I've done. And there is a progress bar as well. So I have to say, I like this. You know, this is very clean. 
I do like the Kajabi one as well, but I don't know. This this is, I guess, very Squarespace, right? And I, I really love that I can, you know, just style the lessons, you know, that I, I have all these styling options, you know, where I can, for instance, organize my, you know, my my different sections of a lesson like this, you know, I can create columns and it's just really, uh, yeah, it's just really nice. You know, I, I like this a lot. So that really made me then think, okay, I actually like this, you know, and, and we also have, you know, pricing plans similar to Kajabi, you know, they have what they call offers and I can, you know, bundle multiple courses now, multiple digital products. But I also like that I still have for instance, um, so we can do the courses, but we can also still do member sites. So, you know, if we go to our website um, and then here we have member sites and member sites, you can put a course in there using the course feature that I've just showed you, but you can also put other things in here. You can put in video courses, for instance, you can put in blogs you know you can put a store in there you know if you have something that you only sell to members and that's by the way another reason why i still like squarespace a lot because i can also sell my planner on squarespace it's a physical product which i cannot sell in kajabi i'd have to get a shopify plugin i don't want to deal with that here i can just do it very easily on my website uh, you can add events, you know, so your member sites, you know, you still have a lot of great options here as well um, for, you know, for selling gated uh, or paywalled content. So it's nice. You know, I think I think there's a lot of possibility here. But Kajabi is nice as well. I mean, it, you know, I definitely um, I definitely liked this. You know, I, I definitely like like this layout here. So the other thing, uh, the last thing I wanted to talk about is emails. So emails in Kajabi, um, they're, they're pretty nifty. I mean, they, um, you know, they have, for instance, here, uh, if I do a sequence or in Squarespace, we call it automation. I actually have an automation and then I click into it and then I can see everything that's in the automation. That is really nice. We can't do that in Squarespace, not yet. Um, and then, of course, you add automations uh, where you can add, for instance, filters and conditions. And oh, my gosh, I mean, this is actually almost a little bit overwhelming. Um, th this is definitely for a business that does a lot of email marketing and a lot of uh, hustling, dare I say it. <laughs> so but I, I certainly would love to see some more filters in Squarespace as well. Now, um, funnels, you know, we can absolutely do funnels in Squarespace, but look at what Kajabi has here. This was the other thing that I did really like, uh, where you can create a funnel and it actually gives you a visual um, of the funnel, you know, so I can see what is in my funnel, my opt-in page, my emails, then there's my sales page, and then here is my offer checkout. But this only works with landing pages. This doesn't work with website pages, unfortunately. So um, I thought, okay, I don't know. You know, I mean, I, I like this a lot. I did. Um, and I really like how with email campaigns, you know, you can also, um, you know, create a lot of really good kind of funnels, you know. But I mean, I don't have that many funnels. And I certainly don't have funnels with like 12 emails in them. <laughs> and I mean, I, I just would never do that. And what I don't like is, you know, when we come to edit, it's like the web page, you know, we click in here and then we get our text box, box here on the left. And I'm just not a fan of that. You know, in Squarespace, you know, we have a very simple um, menu here for our email marketing. Uh, then I click, you know, I can immediately click into a draft. And then here I can I can just update it straight in here. And like with a web page, you know, I can move sections around. Uh, I can duplicate sections. You know, I have some global styling options here, you know, and colors and everything. 
and you know colors my site palette is available or you know i can have a custom palette for this email um it's just very easy to style and to design and i really really like that i also love that for instance here in an email i can easily add blog posts i mean look at this it will bring up a list of all my blog posts and I just basically, you know, choose the ones that I want to add and I select them and then I can style them and voila, here they are, my blog posts. I can do the same thing with products, you know, I can add products as well this way. So that to me is definitely worth something, you know, just the ease and the style and the simplicity of actually creating my emails. I mean, in Kajabi, I, I tried it, but you know, adding, adding stuff, oh, it just takes forever, you know, and, you know, whereas, I don't know, you know, this is definitely much more intuitive and, yeah, easier, you know, so uh, I know Squarespace are working on automations, you know, we're going to have more automations. Uh, we already, you know, have a little taste of that, actually, uh, if we create an automation, for instance, for a, um, you know, for a product, um, and let me just grab anything here. And um, so here you can see we already are starting when a customer does this and this condition is met. So we are going to start seeing more conditions here. Um, and I like how this is actually structured here as well. So I think, you know, we're, we're definitely going to see more. And so I'm, I'm happy to wait for that. And uh, in the meantime, you know, it just really makes me feel um, much calmer <laughs> to, to uh, I mean, I, you know, email marketing is quite important for me. And um, I have a newsletter with a very engaged audience. And it just makes writing the newsletter so much more fun. You know, I think with Kajabi, I would just always go like, oh, okay. I don't know, it would feel like a drag. Uh, something that I really enjoy doing would feel like a drag in Kajabi. And I I don't want that. So finally, actually, one other thing that I wanted to um, to share with you is the pricing. You know, so Kajabi has very easy pricing. You know, they have like three tiers, basic growth and pro. Uh, one price, zero percent transaction fees. Now, yes, the monthly fee is is high compared to some of the other learning management platforms. Um, but you know, if if I look now at uh, Squarespace, so Squarespace, you know, you have to do a little bit more homework as to what pricing plans you need because the website plans are their own. You know, so you get the website and also built-in commerce store. And then you have um, pricing tiers for, um, you know, for digital products, which is what courses falls under and member sites. Um, so any digital product and, and then campaigns, which is the email marketing system. And um, they have a, um, yeah, so, so, so they have these different um, pricing tiers. And I will actually have a separate, uh, I think I'm going to do a separate a video or blog post on that, you know, just to kind of break it down and make it a little bit easier for people to understand, you know, because once you kind of, again, you know, once you kind of do your homework and uh, determine what you need, and then you just go and pay it and then it's fine, you know, then you don't really have to think about it anymore. So the pro plan for courses um, or digital products, uh, as they actually call it, uh, you get unlimited video uploads. Um, and there's a 0% transaction fee. So that is definitely, if you have a course business, if you're already selling courses, that's definitely the plan to be on because you very quickly, um, you know, I just did some examples here. You know, if I sold 10 courses at $297 a month, you know, I'd make $3,000. And, you know, with the pro plan, uh, I'm already, I'm just $10 more than the core plan, you know, but I get unlimited videos and the 0% transaction fee. And then after that, you know, so if you earn more than $3,000 a month, which, you know, you should, if you want to make this a business, it takes time, of course, to get there if you're just starting out. But, you know, you really should be able to, to earn that and more. Then you can see 
that the plan here, because there's a 0% transaction fee, you know, is so much better, you know, because these transaction fees, they really add up, you know, but you can try the Squarespace courses. Actually, you don't have to sign up to a digital uh, product plan, but you have a hefty 9% transaction fee. But, you know, just to try it, that might be worth it. And uh, just to kind of see how it goes, you know, how you like creating your course and, of course, building your audience and all of those things. So this compares to the Kajabi growth plan, you know. So the um, this is actually very, very similar uh, level of pricing. And so then really it comes down to the features, you know, and I... You know, I made a list for myself, you know, things that are important to me. And, you know, and then here you can see, you know, there are things that Squarespace doesn't do, you know, that would be really nice, like checkout bump offers, you know, where you can actually add things at checkout. And um, I think they're working on things, though. You know, they are very aware that that we want this kind of stuff. So I don't know. I think we might still see something here. Um quizzes and all that I'm not that worried about you know for my courses and uh you know I like that it's easy to set up Squarespace I love the you know the styling options that I have I do like that I have commerce as well but that's because I also sell a planner and that just makes it so much easier and ultimately you know what it really comes down to is that um, I can just be me on Squarespace. <laughs> I, I mean, I'm a visual person. I like, I like things to be easy, to be intuitive. I'm in my website a lot. You know, I am a solopreneur and I do a lot of things myself. And that's by design. I like it that way. But because I do a lot of things myself, I want to have a platform that is easy to use, um, that is intuitive. And um, that makes me feel calm, you know. You know me; I'm all about calm. <laughs> and and Squarespace ultimately still makes me feel calm, much calmer actually. When I'm in my website, like whenever I was working in Kajabi, and I thought, yeah, I, I can do this. You know, I mean, I'm quite technical. I can learn all this stuff absolutely. Um, and I know sometimes we have to go through the hard parts to get to the calm part. So I was determined, I'm going to learn Kajami. I'm going to really dig into this. And, and I got to a point where I felt quite comfortable, where I felt quite comfortable building the web pages and all of that. But I, it never felt calm to me. You know, then I would go back to Squarespace and it was just a, a sigh of relief, you know, and there was a time when I really thought I, was, I would maybe move to Kajabi because of these features that they have, you know, the funnels and the automations. And um, I mean, they're all really good features. And but ultimately, it's just not me. You know, I'm, I'm just not me on Kajabi. And I also found, you know, I was in the group a lot. I met some really great people in the Kajabi group. It's a very engaged, very active group. Even Kajabi is in there, which I was very impressed with. But there's a lot of bro energy in there, <laughs> I have to say. There's a lot of bro energy, uh, a lot of hustle energy. And, and that was the other thing, you know, I just, um, it's just not me, you know. I mean, not everyone is like that. And I know people who use Kajabi who are definitely not hustlers. Uh, they're definitely not bro marketers. Um, absolutely, you know. Uh, so... But I'm also someone who, who does engage and who does become part of a community. I mean, that's how I became part of the Squarespace community. And again, I, I met some really nice people in the Kajabi community and very helpful. And, you know, so, so that part is definitely there, you know. But again, there was also just a lot of, a lot of that bro energy. And I, I can kind of do without that. <laughs> so... Yeah, so I hope you're still with me. This is probably way longer than I wanted it to be. Um, but I hope that it was helpful. And uh, yeah, if you have any questions, you know, just uh, feel free to leave a comment and I'll be happy to reply. And uh, give it a like if you liked it, uh, this video. Thank you so much.